Well, to your left now. You touched it, knocked it down. Okay. <laughs> I should be able to reach you with the grabber. Okay, Mike. Hi, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. How you doing? How's it going, dude? Yeah, it was done here. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm like many people on it. Uh, I think there's like three people other than me so far. George is on here, Phil. It is recording though. But I think you you have that set up, right? Yeah, it should be your mic recording. Yeah. Pretty cool setup here. Talking to Tony. Desktop computer has a Zoom on it for some reason. It didn't do me the oh. <laughs>
assim. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm all in their way. I'm like, you can do it right now. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm going to take the right. I'm just going to shy it in. You could shy it up, though. The other one, not so much. Doesn't want to do anything, so I think. Well, see, that's Steve's yeah. iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's nowhere near his screen. Is that a power unit in between? Yes, it is. Help it, huh? Not so much with that many, but when I hear the full consist on it. Okay. Coming down into the yard around that's underneath here, goes around a curve and comes down. And this rod is right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, get that, back up. <laughs> if that powered unit is in fact there, the whole train bunches up. Oh, I see. Yeah, the incline. It, it's too much for just the lead unit. Mm -hmm. So you have to have something to hold back. Ah, gotcha. Half of the train. <laughs> and um, Christian Jimena is uh, guarding the national treasure. <laughs> we'll have so much. Even they can bring his kid up here. Oh, I see. So, uh, this is a house. It's Well, you got it, got it running them, huh? Thank you. 
and a God. A little bit of dirt in it. Well, I'm touching the right hand. Well, I can turn with the trailer. We have a trailer. We have a trailer. He comes out there. You can blow the whistle out of the trailer. Yeah. This is a beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Someone scream that. We're going to drink some of your acid, Dad, right here. Mm -hmm. make it like Hello, everybody. Hi. Do they have the trolley running there, Steve? Uh, yeah, it has to come back around. Oh, <laughs> good. Because uh, I, hi, Chris. Uh, I, I, uh, I recall that uh, Michael had said that there's a lot of rebuilding going on with it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll do. Uh, this is on the. Uh, 
the station and walking toward the city. Okay. And there's a lot of work back here has to be done too, is a little inner route. Yeah, I think Michael said they're they're at it, they're doing redoing the rail or something. Yeah. It comes with being so just gonna wait for that to come back. Oh, he's running okay. They got the they got the voltage cranked up a bit. Yeah, it's running pretty well. Yeah. Oh, that layout always runs nicely. Yeah. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Rich. I like those buildings. Yeah. yeah they're, they're pretty nice. Yeah, he's mostly Bachman's. A couple of uh, city classics here. Mm hmm. Uh oh. It was folks too soon. Whoops. Oh, what do you think, Bob? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe slow it down a little. Talk the track a little bit. A little off the tracks, like a little pregnant. We're going on the West Virginia side over here. John from Australia. I I had a Skype conference the other night with Greg King from Sunbury. They're they're coming out with some new models. Okay. Do you know him, John? No. Uh, he's he's a retired um, tram motorman instructor from Melbourne. He li he lives in Sunbury and he's very actively involved at the museum at Ballarat. Okay, I I live just south of Sydney. Okay, he works with uh, uh, on the model projects with Joseph Spinella, who lives in Sydney. Right, Joe, Joe's a member of the Sydney Tram Museum, as I am. Mm -hmm. I'm working right now on one of Joe's models. Oh, which one? A model of a uh, Brisbane Phoenix. Okay. I think you have one at your museum. Yes. John, is it as hot in uh, Sydney as it is cold here today? <laughs> uh, let's see. Our temperature is about 20 right now, which is about high 60s, low 70s. Oh, it, it says 75 on my weather uh, report. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. That's, that's, that's right, Chris. You have family in Australia, right? Well, right, but I, I just got the report off my oh, yeah. iPhone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just looked out on her back porch. That's easier. 
<laughs> well, there's what you call this because you're weather they are sort of the equivalent to August here. Right? Yes, that's, that's, yeah. that's right. pretty mild. Yeah, we're just we're just getting ready to head into autumn. It doesn't work the other way though. It never gets cold and snowy in Sydney. There are parts in Australia where it does, but. Uh, you know, we, yeah, Tasmania probably has a real winter. Yeah, Tassie's bad too. Sydney would be terrible if it ever got ice and snow because it's extremely hilly. Yeah. Imagine all the traffic accidents. What happened? <laughs> they wouldn't know what to do if they had any snow. I lived in Tucson for many, many years, and the few times it snowed there shut the town down. Hmm. What brought you to Australia? And don't say Qantas. <laughs> <laughs> Work. I was, I was transferred by the company I worked for. I'm retired now. There it is. This one, Mike. The thing did it. When were you last there, Chris? Uh, now, now you're just like, you're in the All right, I'm going to go this way. This one, how many are there, Charlie? What was that? How many people uh, came? Let me see how many we have. Is it a quarter to four? Yeah, right about now. <laughs> Yeah, I think we have four. Okay. As uh, Steve and Bruce. Yeah. And uh, Michael there. Michael, yeah, five. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about Michael. He's in the corner there. And uh, yeah, yeah. I I figured the weather was conspiring against many people coming out tonight. Yeah, I don't know. See, which of I think Rendell was right with his book. What did he say? Did he write a book? Some say, you know, the nation of wusses or so. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Guilty as charged. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't want to do that 45 mile drive home tonight, 45 yeah. minute drive home tonight. Yeah. When, when it's that bitter cold. Bye. I sent out uh, 200 uh, newsletter flyers this afternoon. You mean meat flyers? I, I mean uh, meat flyers, yeah. Good. There's probably another 150 more to send out, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to find that book, Charlie, Nation of Wusses. I'm yeah. living in a city of wusses. Yeah. They're petrified um, to, to driving out here when the sun's out. The road <laughs> Um, uh, to, uh, I wonder if anyone took any of the uh, flyers to Timonium. I think that's that's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I know yeah, Doug, she, uh, Doug is going. Yeah, see, nobody contacted me to print any up or anything. Yeah. So I don't know. That's what I was going to ask. I was wondering if anybody's going. That was fun. Well, Bob and I often go, but he didn't feel up to it uh, no. for this week. Never make mistakes. <laughs> Thanks, Are you in Baltimore, Chris? Or are you in Reading this weekend? Not Baltimore. Palmer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you going to the show tomorrow? Undecided. Sunday morning, I got something. I definitely have to do something else. But tomorrow, I'm undecided. Leaning towards like, uh, <laughs> when do I stop buying and when do I start building? So, <laughs> so don't go. <laughs> But we had a meeting of the Chesapeake uh, 
the Chesapeake division of the Mid-Eastern region of the NRMA last week. A lot of guys are gone, so it might be a sociable thing for me to do, but I'll see. A lot of Timonium is, you know, because, and usually when I buy stuff, it's just odds and ends. I, I, I you know, enjoy going and seeing the layouts. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was one great one I saw once they had a, a big terminal at Hogwarts <laughs> School. Uh you know, with all the building work and a Harry Potter train in there. It was really great. I don't remember that one. And the one I most remember was uh, a layout that featured a uh, styrofoam quarry with, with a very, very um, academic uh, tone of a like a, a term paper post it next to it, explaining the operation, the discovery of styrofoam deposits and, and the <laughs> operations of the quarry, how it's how the styrofoam is is taken from the ground and and, and put on flat cars and all that kind of stuff. It really looked good. Cool. There's <laughs> there's that group that it it's that along has the a lines beautifully of... scenery uh, modular layout. I think it's <laughs> They're from the Maryland, D.C. area. Uh-huh. Oh, um, Prince, Prince, uh, Prince William? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, they have a really great layout. Yeah. And, and the, well, the Reading guys have one, too, that's quite good. Well, there's a European group that's not too far from Reading, Africa, <laughs> Lancaster County. They've often been in Timonium, but I haven't yeah. seen them lately. We we asked them to come to to our show and sure uh, they they I, I think they didn't quite understand that we don't pay for them to come. Well, I don't think oh, Timonium does to some degree, I guess. Yeah, they're very well coordinated. That's a team. Yeah, well, it's, and it's a national organization. And so is Prince William. But those two that I just described, they're my favorites, and I never saw them again. P particularly the styrofoam quarry. It sounded so academic. It reminded yeah. me of some papers I've seen people write with experiments they do with peeps in the microwave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 The, the picks the spots where it looks in the rail. That's for sure. Is that your hand, Steve? Yeah. There we go. Must be a gauge problem in here. If this keeps on the rail in here all the time, I think I see the problem. And you gonna fix it? I need some tools. <laughs> it, it's it's out of gauge right here on the curve, and it, and it must have ride up on the on the girder rail right there. Maybe just a little file, huh? Yeah, maybe. Just need to pull see, it out a little see, bit. The other thing is, yeah. I, think like, I think that front axle. Has some of that bullfrog stuff on it. Oh, the snot. Yeah. yeah. See, to go up the hill. On the hill. It, it actually, See, it, I it might it's be better to put it on the second axle. Yeah, it might be yeah. a little bit of weight. It might need too in the front. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Because it, it want to jump. It jumped up here and it also jumped up on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was in the I usually put instead of adding the bullfrog to it, I just put a weight on that front. Yeah. That front piece. That's usually the, the drive. The drive post is the front on the, on the Bowser, right? Yeah. I often put a weight tab on top of the gear tower. Yeah, that's what I do. If there's room under the uh, yeah. under the roof. But the, you know that uh, that tungsten putty I've been using, you can shape that and uh, kind of make it fit wherever you want. Yeah, I kind of like that. I I need to look that up. Yeah, I think a two ounce tin of it, Steve, is like 
from Amazon, like $14. And that's enough, you know, that's uh, 60 grams. And that's enough to do five or six cars easily. Yeah. I can hang out here so when it comes back, I can get you. Did it that time. <laughs> it's probably not a gauge problem because you fixed it very easily. <laughs> <laughs> If I will. Oh, they're running all the way down there now. Cool. That's a great looking stretch they have in there. Yeah. Uh, Rick. Yeah. The other thing I did uh, this afternoon, I I put the meat in the timetable section of uh, railroad model question. Oh, okay. So to see if it shows up there, you know, I think they have to yeah. look at yeah. it and approve it before they. Yeah, I'll I'll send something to that uh, model railway hobbyist too because they listed ours last time. Yeah. That's a freebie. We don't have to pay for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think I got the the model railroader is I think it's like forty five dollars or so. So I'm not sure that's worth it to us. Yeah, I think they, uh, either you or Carl used to have a thing where uh, people would send in with some sort of a code, uh, depending where they saw it. And we never thought there was much impact. Yeah. Charlie, have your open houses there been well attended? Somewhat, yeah. yeah. The, the busiest one we had was the one that was the Monday after Christmas. Yeah. Christmas week is typically a, a busy time for those. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what this weekend and then what next weekend do. Well, next Sunday, Super Bowl is is a complicating factor. Yeah. Though so, though it's over well before the game. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's see, I think the one weekend, I think the football game was early. So that yeah. cut into it. Yeah. But sometimes when the football game is late, it helps. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
That PCC they're running, Charlie, does that have the uh, the Bowser pole on it, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Because I have a couple of those, and out of the box, they don't track well. And what I've done, I've replaced the, uh, uh, the, the, the shoe with a uh, precision scale one. Yeah. And, and yeah. it fixes the problem. Yeah, I think some of the issue of why it's a little sensitive to the track work is the front wheels have the bullfrog snot on them to improve the traction going up the hill. Yeah. And I think that makes them somewhat sensitive. Yeah. It's probably better just to put a weight tab under, <laughs> yeah. under, under the floor. Yeah. Let's see, but that one uh, that one grade is pretty steep. Oh, you're back along the single track section, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's such a spectacular section in there. Yeah. See, but that wasn't really planned for the trolley. Yeah. We just sort of stuck that there, you know. <laughs> Was that your idea or Michael's or? Yeah, I, I sort of did it when they wanted to get the trolley running there. See, but the mm -hmm. original plan was to have the trolley go down and interchange with the railroad. Okay. And then it was maybe going to go under the land. And I think realized that was not a good idea. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Take fours. Yes, you got some steam operation too there, huh? Double header, no less. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. It must be a nightmare when something breaks down and oh. <laughs> Charlie, did you uh, did did you look at the uh, pictures of the plaques that Bob had sent? Yeah, 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 yeah. They look good. Yeah, I was able to. Uh, what I, I did for the pictures, as I said, I used uh, Microsoft Paint. Yeah. And it, it, there's a learning curve with it. Yeah. Yeah, see, what I thought was the easiest drawing program to use was the one that originally came with Apple in like around 83, 84 time frame. But that was very intuitive to use. And I think it had the capability you can switch from bitmap to the other one where it's where your curves are developed by mathematical formulas. Oh. You'll know this you can do lines, but you also can freehand. And yeah. there's a, a marker function yeah. and and it's white. Now it unlike with cropping, it doesn't lessen the number of pixels yeah carly are you talking about apple works is that the name of the program whatever grant whatever drawing program is available on like the apple macintosh computers in around 1985 1986 yeah, that sounds like apple works and it yeah. did a lot of stuff and uh it was replaced uh, but the drawing functions weren't. I mean, they have pages to write. And they have a numbers, uh, sort of like a like a uh, Excel 
um, and they have their version of PowerPoint. But the drawing part, I don't think they ever develop one to replace that. Yeah, yeah. So it just sort of disappeared there. It really was uh, a jack of all trades. You know? <laughs> and you can't run it, obviously, on the newest software. No way. Mm -hmm. What's that, a cripple car? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, my God. <laughs> What are you going to build, Chris, when you get to that point? Oh, I got a lot of things I'd love to do. <laughs> I got a bunch of, um, well, I think the, the thing I should give priority to is is a, uh, a light rail uh, layout. But there's, there's a few trolleys I've built, I, I've bought that are just, just screamed by me. So I said, all right, I will. But uh, I think priority should, me. Go to, priority should go to, to the uh, light rail. But Ahead of that is some mainline railroad cars that have bad couplers on and just just work my way in lightly and replacing the couplers and stuff. And some are, are good couplers, but they're X2F. So I changed them to Katie style. Yeah. Well, it's a cold weekend, so you could stay in and get a lot done. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of other stuff to do too. <laughs> yeah. Which is more urgent. Yeah. Hey Harvey. We got to get go. ready. We're we're having some serious internal work done on this house uh, on Monday. Uh, oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. Where is your place? Well, uh, you know, Baltimore geography, Pikesville. Yeah. It's just northwest of the city. Oh, you're in Pikesville. It's legally outside, but it's still close enough to have a two one two zip code. Yeah. Just like my place in Reading is legally outside Reading, but it still has a Reading 196 zip code. Hey, John V. Hello. Good evening. Really cold out there. Yeah, windy too. All day yeah, long, I've been able to hear the wind blowing around outside this house. Yeah, yeah. It's cold uh, enough, I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see something here. I'll tell you what it is. Eighteen degrees here and windy. I don't know what the what the wind chill factor is, but. Uh, I just went out and got pizza and uh, <laughs> half drove over there, half was blown over there. Yeah. Was the pizza frozen when you got home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to uh, drop my video off in a minute and eat some. <laughs> oh, I want you to be jealous. It's yeah. not that you're going to get naked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be ugly. <laughs> yeah. But that's what you need. Oh, to with do all you with... guys here, I wonder how many people made it over to the to the meet. Oh, there's Steve's phone. Is he at the meet I, there? I yeah, think we have about there. seven here. Yeah, there, there's. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would have driven over, except that I just felt the weather was so cold. And uh, yeah. so uh, our, we have to reorganize our New Jersey group because it used to be John Gallagher, me, uh, Russ, and Bill Vigrass, and Dave Noyes. But 
I'm going to go online after we're off here and see what what happened. Uh, uh, maybe there's an email there saying, hey, are you going? And I haven't read it yet today. Uh, Bill's had some health issues lately, I know, because I'm in pretty regular touch with him. Yeah. Bill Vigrass is, is sick again. He's got... Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, I can't. It's a long name. Starts with is, an M Y something. Yeah. Uh, um, myosemia or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, oh, myosemia. My wife is listening in the background. My myosemia gravis. He's got. Yeah. yeah. And uh, apparently, he's going to be able to be treated at home. Yeah, he's been getting home infusions, and uh, I, I spoke to him about a week or so ago. I think he's 94 now, but still very yeah, mentally. He, he is over 90, yes. Yeah. You know, he, he hasn't lost a step mentally. Yeah. So, uh, age comes around, get you. Yeah. Doug, are, are you home or are you in Baltimore? No, nope, I'm, I'm home. I, <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. We didn't... Uh, we're not, we, uh, Dave didn't get the plans to uh, uh, the organizers in time, so we couldn't do it. Oh, I thought you were still going to the show. Uh, I was. <laughs> Jimmy and I were going to go down, but she's in the hospital at the moment. So, Ooh. yeah. Hope she's okay. Uh, uh, I thought she was coming home today, but they did a MRI this afternoon and the results never came back. So, uh, where is she? The Jefferson and Cherry Hill. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, she'll probably be coming home in the morning. Yeah. So, so I wouldn't have been able to go anyway. Well, tell her we asked about her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many O gauge sure, uh, sure fast cars you up to, Doug? Well, I, I think I think I'm at about five so <laughs> right now, but I, I want to get it in the next newsletter to just you know get a list together. So yeah. um, uh, I'll talk to I'll talk to Charlie about that. I'll, I'll I see that he's here, but. Yeah. No. no. I think he can. Uh, I don't know who's here writing because I'm coming in late. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think Ed will probably want one. At least so. Yeah, Ed is here also. Oh, is he? Yeah. I didn't see him. Yeah, no, he uh, he's. Oh, okay. He walked in the door a few minutes ago. Oh, he's at the he's at the club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. I am. I'm at the club. Uh, okay. <laughs> when you're the host, you have to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's your club, Charlie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But see, what's your call? But. Uh, but the club, they have Zoom meetings too. So I actually volunteered the East End's yeah. Zoom account. Oh, okay. For them. So that's why, like, my name is, <laughs> is on the Zoom on the computer at the club. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure. So we're not changing. North Carolina. Who's in North Carolina? Oh, Harvey, Simon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's it's not too bad. No, I'm on the Zoom with the guys. Yeah, like twenty. Twenty. Not, oh. not minus twenty. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's good. uh, it's uh, eight right now in Rhode Island because <laughs> I just talked to my cousin. It's yeah, supposed, my, to get uh, to, it's supposed to get to minus eight. Tonight. My my yeah, son is in uh, uh, southern Maine, and his fiance is in northern uh, Vermont. I heard minus 50. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, Tony, Steve's fiance, sent my wife uh, a text earlier this evening, said that it was, with a wind chill, it was minus 
46, but we, we told her, well, not far from you, Mount Washington supposedly is minus 106. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just reading today about a, uh, a, a, a in the Yukon somewhere, there was a day where it was minus 87. They said that it caused a lot of really weird effects, one of which was you could hear people talking four miles away. <laughs> so much for privacy yeah yeah no privacy <laughs> it'll be a cold day in hell <laughs> Steve, the way your phone is we're going to get motion sickness i know it's just all over the place it's you know steve spent too much time watching blair witch project <laughs> <laughs> so he writes it so he set it up right <laughs> yeah there are some people there wow yeah, yeah. it seems like it close to here yeah I get feedback. feedback yeah, yeah see, i just cranked this down yeah, yeah. You. okay yeah all right um I don't know if you want to get started with mine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. Do you want to do it from here then? Probably better than you to do yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like doors are still sitting here. But, um, you have any troops? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Charlie, how many people uh, showed up on site? Yeah, I guess he's busy. Oh, he walked away. <laughs> Charlie, Doug wanted to know how many are there now. I think it's like seven or eight. I don't know. You know, okay. people are sort of spread out all over there. So it's all right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But Bruce is here and Steve is here and Ed Skukas just came a little while ago and Mark Hinkle and his son are here. Yeah. And Michael. Huh? And Michael, yeah. yeah. Michael's back in the corner running running the trains. Okay. Uh oh. So I guess some members do that in archive. Well, it's like that. All right, I'll see you back in the archive. Not only are the magazines in the back of the Don't look nice when you get them painted. Oh, I see. And there's a lot of them in the shelves under. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, okay. 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 I think there's the bound volume to go pretty far back. Yeah. 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 While things are quiet here, uh, I've been watching a new thing on, well, at least for me, it's been a new thing on uh, the internet. It's called uh, New Tracks. Yeah, what new the track is the third word. Yeah. Uh, it's new Keller, Tracks right? Modeling Jim... uh, yeah. And they're uh, on YouTube. And uh, you can also use use just that name, NewTracksModeling.com, and be able to register and get yourself on on their uh, their system because they'll tell you when they're on. They're on Wednesday nights for about two hours, sometimes two and a half hours, uh, seven to nine or a little bit later. And uh, on I still haven't gotten it straight as to what their Thursday night uh, program is, but uh, they have discussions about modeling and uh, uh, scratch building and so forth. And uh, uh, it may not be your cup of tea. You may watch it and say, I'm not interested or that, but I've watched it. And uh, a lot of the people that come on are pretty interesting and uh, show some uh, techniques uh, for scratch building and that. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a big presence of trolley modelers, except that the guy who runs it is uh, Jim Kello. Yeah. Uh, and he's, an, he's a guy who's been around a long time and he is a trolley modeler. 
Well, they, um, uh, so. uh, John, they a while ago, this is like uh, maybe a year ago, they did have a regular session on trolley modeling, but it kind of got voted off the island as, you know, yeah. not being enough interest to enough people. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I got uh, a message for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, for those who speak Italian, yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you remember that, it's new tracks modeling. Uh, and when you go on the YouTube, they have all their past programs. So you can go back. And a lot of times I'll go on to the program and he'll have an introductory part in that. Um, and I'll just use that red button and scan the red line and, you know, skip over uh, parts that may not be of interest to me. So um, I just offer that to you as uh, another way to waste your time on the computer and not working down on the layout. But uh, uh, they've had some guys on with some pretty innovative techniques and, uh, and their, their purpose is to get people back to modeling, you know, to actually building. In fact, Rich, you ought to be tuning in there and doing some of your... Uh, what your articles have been in uh, in our uh, trolley ma uh, club magazine. Uh, uh, People heard it. They may find that to be interesting, and Kello may may pick up on that. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I heard what Dave John, said. Uh, Doug rather said though. The last time so, you were here, I did something you suggested yeah. on my layout. So I, I put some street lights in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using bold, those bold little scenic lights that you know that yeah. you just plug it. It sounds so easy, and it is yeah, until can... you're under the layout trying to get those two little plugs. wires yeah. into that clip, and yeah. it's like trying to uh, put a urinary catheter into a mosquito. <laughs> Rich, you know what? The, you know what I resorted to because I I just found it darn near impossible when you have it on the bench before you install the light add add you know to the end of the lead with some bigger wire and you know just put shrink tube i figured around that it. out after i had yeah them all in. yeah because <laughs> you put them all in and then went the wire <laughs> yeah because yeah. that one step you know it otherwise it does literally take 30 seconds to put one in you know uh, to to thread the wire through the thing through the thing yeah and then yep. trying to put that thing in while you're balancing a flashlight in your lap. And well, yeah. <laughs> yep. My husband. All right. Uh, let's get started with the meat. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Want to get started? Uh, how's, there, how's everybody doing? Welcome to uh, the meat. Uh, meeting for February 2023. We're at Edmonton Lines. Uh, we want to thank Edmonton Lines for having us uh, this month. Thank you, Edmonton Lines. Thank you, Mike Janine. Thanks to everybody who's here. Yeah. Uh, also, we want, um, you know, we got refreshments, so just feed the kitty. Um, and also, uh, stay warm. It's very cold outside today. Um, Watch where you're walking, you know, safety tip for the day, uh, um, slip trips and falls. Uh, take your time, make it safe. All right, uh, let's get started. Charlie, how are we doing money-wise? Good, good, good. I don't know why this isn't switching there. To... Yeah, when I talk, it, it, didn't, it didn't go to my... Oh. This one? Hello? Here you go. Hello? Yeah, for some reason, none of the people hearing me and seeing me, it looks like it's locked on Chris Bradley. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Technical difficulty. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe if the rest of us mute ourselves and. and if yeah, I think people... everybody's muted. I don't know why. For some yeah. reason, doesn't want to switch to. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to switch to share screen. Oh. No, I'm just. 
I'm just wondering what it what it is. It seems like the Zoom hasn't switched and made the computer here the prime one, the speaker. That's what I don't understand. Uh, I think it depends on where you look at. So like you're talking here. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so on my yeah, own, right. it's an okay. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> fine. Okay, now I understand. Uh, in the cash account, we have fifty dollars and two cents. In the checking account, we have three thousand four hundred sixty-seven dollars and fifty-seven cents. In the money market account, we have eighteen thousand seven hundred thirty-one dollars and fifty-eight cents. And in the PayPal account, we have two hundred fifty-one dollars and ninety-one cents. For total cash and bank accounts, we're twenty-two thousand five hundred one dollars and eight cents. And uh, we're starting to get registrations for the meet. I have about uh, 19 so far that uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago, I sent out the flyers and the information to the dealer, about 100. Today, I sent uh, 200 out of flyers, and there's probably another uh, 150 on our mailing list that I'll get out in the next week or so. Uh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good to have. We have nineteen so far. Yeah. yeah. Great. Um, membership renewals are. are yeah, good. the membership renewals have come in pretty good. You have to send the note out to the few stragglers there. And are we sold out of calendar here? Now, I, I guess I, I checked. I I thought because I I still have like sixteen of them. Okay. Uh, no re-ups from the sector store yet, or no? I haven't heard anything from them. So, over. so I don't know how they're how they did with them. Whether they still have some in stock, or yeah. well, their hours is they just open Monday through Friday. They don't open on Saturdays. Hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it's Jason. Can you answer that question? Uh, they're not open on Mondays either. Really? Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> Tuesday through Friday. Yeah, no, I've been trying to... mostly ten to three. Yeah, they've got real, uh, real, real dollars. You, know. <laughs> you would think you'd open on Saturday. Tuesday, Tuesday, <laughs> but Tuesday through Friday, but nothing on Saturday. Yeah. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think they're open on weekends at all. Yeah. They're yeah. open on Saturdays. Yeah, so it's like you have to catch them when, when they're open. He wants me to retire and be a hey. <laughs> <down there. laughs> no, I'm looking to hire somebody. Yeah, that might be a good thing. <laughs> um, the meat. So it looks like things are going well for the meat. Right. Uh, we're setting up, um, you know, all the activities. Uh, call out for any um, anybody who wants to volunteer for clinics. Uh, we have a casting call. If you want to go out there right. and do a clinic, um, please let us know uh, for the meat. Now, I did get an email from a gentleman who was interested in presenting a clinic. And I did email him back. And I sort of said, but see, I think he's talking more of he has a prepared clinic mm -hmm. on uh, on sort of light rail and DMU operation oh. or layout or so. So it looks very interesting. Yeah, that's a new but, movie. But I think what it is, it's more of like a, uh, a fixed clinic with uh, PowerPoint slides. Oh. That's good too. See, so I sort of told him because that facility at Alta, it's an excellent facility, right. but it really doesn't have the breakout breakout room. rooms that you'd expect. So I sort of suggested that maybe it would be better to have more for, for one of our meetings right. and do it via Zoom. That that sounds really yeah. Good. So I think he said that's what he may take off. But meanwhile, he did send, I guess, his latest email, he did send me a link to his PowerPoint slides. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to look at them. I spent most of the day working on uh, meat flyers to send out, stuffing the envelopes and okay. stamping and addressing them. Yeah, so um, for upcoming meetings, uh, meets, you know, uh, shows, do we have anybody who's going to go out? Are we, we, we uh, make it for Timoleum or not? Anybody know? I think didn't we have a discussion about Timonium just a little while ago?
Yeah, I think they. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was that. muted. Um, yeah. yeah, we were supposed to go to Timonium um, and take o, o gauge modules, um, but they've got the plans to the organizers too late, so they couldn't fit us in. Okay. No. Actually, but the other shows, right? I guess Dave's been yeah. professionally trained by Amtrak to be late. <laughs> hey. yeah. um, I, I, I think Larry's going to set up at Wilmington, isn't he? At, at, at the Greenberg show? Uh, I think um, Tom said he was going to go down there. Right? Yeah. I think he needed a little bit of help. And I think Tom was, set, was going to try to get that to work. Isn't that the same weekend as the Super Bowl, right? That's next week. The one I think it's Wilmington? next weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. I think it's it's like this month. And I think wasn't traditionally the one in Wilmington was more like in March or so before uh previous years. Yeah, before. yeah, it was sort of mid-March. Yeah. yeah. But I think last time it was on the same day Super Bowl was. I remember I had to get out of there. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> um well. If Larry's going to be there, that's that's great. Um, let's see what else. Um, you want to talk about uh, Trolleyville? Um, you have you have any news on Trolleyville? Um, yeah, I've I've been in communication with George about that, Steve. Uh, he is discontinuing Trolleyville Times and the Trolleyville site. Uh, at the end of uh, 2023. He has offered the full archives to East Penn. We ought to take it because yes, there's some good yes. stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, He's going to continue with custom tracks because he makes some money on that. Oh, do we know how much he's paying for the site? I mean, maybe you can keep it up a while until we're able to transfer stuff over to our site. Yeah, well, I think, I think what he's going to keep it up through the end of this year, right? Right. But it's after the end of this year he wants. To, uh, I don't think he uh, wants to renew whatever he's. Pay. He doesn't want to pay another renewal fee. Yeah. No. Okay. So, so I think he just wants to. The, but I don't dump the archive into East Penn, which is a terrific idea. Right. Yeah, I right. don't think it's going to cost us any more because I think we get a reasonable amount of capacity. Right. So we just fold it into our site to have Vario host it. Okay. Yes, ours. Yeah, if we can just get like a you know a link to all his stuff yeah. with the past issues and all that stuff, I think yeah. that'll be yeah very valuable to So I club. guess I don't think Adam is on the call, right? So I have to talk to Adam and see what his thoughts are, you know. To, but I don't think it should be a problem. We just get the file from George and just mm -hmm. put them on our site. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Um you want to go on to uh, prototype news? Any prototype news? Any word? There was a thing that uh, that they uh, two things. Uh, Omaha is starting uh, construction early next year of a uh, a, a downtown streetcar line, and uh, Quebec has just uh, uh, started with contracts for a uh like 12 mile long light rail line quebec city yeah oh that sounds good yeah well, john had mentioned that uh the, the, the new york the governor decided it were a light rail for ibx yeah let's say ibx across uh, across bronx oh across, across yeah. no brooklyn yeah. oh the brooklyn queens right yeah, queens connected, yeah. yeah. instead of third rail that's the trolley, um, tram, whatever you want to call it. Um, any news on? Um, well, that'll have some street running, right? Well, not street running, but I think it has a uh, grade level cost. Of course. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's an old rail right away, isn't it, Bruce? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right. not the one that they're talking along the riverfront. Then it's a different. No, road. that's a different. One. I think it's a former freight line, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, New Haven. Oh, yeah. Is that is that the one in uh, in Queens, Brooklyn, and Queens? Yeah, yeah. Because you know, I'm from that area. Yeah, uh, that was not passenger. That was pure pure freight. Right. Yeah. Uh, but apparently, it's through a populated area. 
Yeah. Yes. From yeah. Hell's Gate. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't uh, it come over like the Hellgate Bridge and yeah. basically go down? And it went to the car floats. Floats, uh, yeah. So there on that was passenger side. service because there's still an abandoned high level platform. But the passenger service didn't go to the car floats, it went to Manhattan Beach. Yeah. Um, I, there's some kind of complicated story about that. Yeah. yeah. Remember that. Um, uh, Somehow it came from Jamaica or something and went down the other way and, and connected that way. Um, any news on uh, King of Pressure? Almond? Nope. nope. Uh, I did hear some grumblings about, except to say they don't have enough money for uh, Boulevard Extension. Mm -hmm. And they had some lowball number for uh, going to the Chamonix, which mm -hmm. didn't make any sense mm -hmm. of $5 billion. But uh, I mean, their their budget is like one billion a year, so they said they couldn't mm -hmm. support it. Mm -hmm. But I think the real number is like fifteen billion to twenty billion to get in the shame. Yeah. Now, now it was interesting. I was reading an article on the internet today, and I'm not sure who the author was, but they were sort of talking about just in general, especially the transportation projects, it just to do anything in this country just costs so much money. Yes, yeah, a lot. Because it's almost government almost works like too good. So you have all these different hearings, there's all these places where people can object and it creates delays. It just bounces mm -hmm. the price tag up. Um, when you look at what Montreal is getting for their $6.8 million with the REM system and, and what things are costing here, you know, yeah. 400 miles away, it's, it's just staggering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think and I think they were talking about how that connection to Grand Central from the Long Island. Oh yeah. How how much the price of that escalated and how long it took from when they originally mm -hmm. started talking about and the it. second avenue subway, yeah. yeah. The new hot the new hot thing is the Baltimore tunnel replacement. Right. And and how much that's gonna cost or they have to buy all the property uh, for the actual relocation. And then they have to do all the work and how many jobs is going to create from that. Kind of prototype news. Tomorrow night's BSRA Zoom meeting is an update on what's going on at uh, Seashore Museum. And um, may, hopefully they'll say something about progress with the LVT 1030 restoration. My thing. Any other uh, prototype news? Okay, uh, how about model news? How are we doing with the KC cars? Well, there's a bit of a story. <laughs> uh, they're close to ready to be released. The pictures they sent of them, the, the SEPTA logo on the side of the X Toronto SEPTA cars they have backwards. The stylized S should be in the front and SEPTA behind it. And they took the one from the left side and put it on the right rather than making a, uh, uh, a, a different- Left and a right, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I've been sort of back and forth about George about that, that they've put in an awful lot of time and money and effort uh, to, to get these, and they ought to get it right. And that should become a deal breaker. And either they should fix it or provide an easy to put on a decal to go over it on a matched color backing. Right. And uh, somehow it'll be worked out. That's good. Do we have an idea of the delivery date? Yes, in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a little closer than the last time, right? I got a couple of, I went to the Greenberg's show at Oaks. I didn't see any East Pen there. Uh, the only traction I saw for sale were two pit, look at pit and Oak Age trolleys. Uh, the prices were obscene. Uh, but I did uh, buy all of the switch machines from the Lansdale Model Railroad Club. Uh, quite cheap, so I can offer them uh, uh, any of the builders in this club that need switch machines. They're mostly the, the twin coil hot type with the contacts. Mm -hmm. You want to put that in the newsletter? 
I'm sorry. Do you want to put that in the newsletter? Yes, I okay. hope so. Oh, the other thing, Steve, is uh, uh, Volkmar's uh, baby bullets, the uh, uh, Fonda, jo uh, Johnstown, and Gloversville, and later uh, Bamberger bullets. Uh, those kits are available. Uh, we're going to do a group purchase of them, like we did with the uh, uh, with the Shorefast cars, with a very substantial savings. Oh, it sounds good. Oh, 72, 72 euros, including shipping. And we had that written up in the last newsletter, right? Yeah. 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 yeah Bruce said he wants one. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell him to send me an email which <laughs> which version he wants, the Bamberger or the FJ and G. Okay. Uh, I, I want to place the order by March 15th. Beware the Ides of March. All right. Any other uh, to, I mean, model, model news? Not news, question. Is there any interest in bringing O gauge modules to a show somewhere? Um, that Dave is a bit tied up with the family and there aren't that many shows before the meet, anyhow. Uh, but I'm willing to go and have a good many modules if anybody else is interested. Okay. You can also put that out in the newsletter too. Uh, next one goes out. Call for uh, any helpers for the old gauge model. Uh, Ed, do you have any uh, model news for us? Well, people are still creating. You know, a lot of people are just on, okay. on CAD. Maybe, maybe you should have a doing things. Both in Europe is doing things. We're doing things here. It's just um, creating design. There's a there's a group up in Wisconsin, and a lot of the owner guys are getting into creating design. So I've been doing uh, some work to try to get the people who do design work and finding the people who can make really good 3D prints. How is your mule? It was up that it was good. Companies are being used all over the place. What? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's so a very there's simple there's a lot drink of to make. You know, and so what's cool on, is uh, the uh, PCC cars that were the uh, bicentennial cars, the ex Kansas City cars. I just got a uh, a cargo tram from um, that we had printed. It's five section and it's about four feet long. Oh, wow. And it, uh, they used to snake through the streets in this one town in Germany between two Volkswagen. <laughs> so I, I'd be interested in getting that up to speed a little bit. I have it on the layout right now. It's one module. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ed, any updates on the uh, warboard cars? No, I'm not doing a thing with them. I, I never Only because we, we, you know, it's like, who's going to work on it? Either we'll get enough information. One designer doesn't want to take any new projects. European guys that I use, they want to work on cars that they're more familiar with. Uh, Wolfmar is busy just trying to get his stuff done. Um, you know, if we find another designer along the way, we can work on it. But I haven't been pushing it. I have too many other projects going. Car I'd like to do, but we have to get it into the schedule somehow. It was a distant thought. Any other uh, model news? Nope, nope. Open floor for anything else? Anybody wants to bring up? <laughs> Only that I had, you know, coming from Scranton, Wilkesboro area, I took a look at your Wilkesboro car and it really is nice and it looks really close to any of the color slides I have, Rich, so on that main line. Oh, yeah, that was a shell that I had sitting on a shelf that was screaming at me periodically. <laughs> Finish me. You have a Nana Coke on your uh, system? I noticed uh, the N on the front. That's yeah, I have the N on both ends. 
Hey, George, they probably ran on that line at the end. I think. I'm sorry, I missed that. What was that? I said, I think 772 and 74 used to run on the Nanticoke line at the end. Oh, they did. Yeah. They yeah. did. And I've also seen photographs of them on Plymouth. There were times when the lines were, I guess you could say they were interlinked. Mm -hmm. uh, Plymouth via Cary Avenue. But then when there were just the two lines remaining, they used everything they had. Yeah. Except they never ran the warboard cards, as far mm -hmm. as I know, to... Uh, to Nanticoke and Hanover. Uh, never seen pictures of them there. Never seen them on a Hanover line. Yeah, probably the one card that I remember seeing the least of is when they. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the one card that I don't think I, I've seen hardly ever is the center entrance cards. Oh no, they hated those. Um, yeah, I know. It's interesting. My my uncle, he died. Probably he, he would be almost 100 years old or maybe over 100. We were looking at photos and he pointed to that one car and he said, we never liked these cars. <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand that your, your comment. Yeah, uh, there is a photo that I saw and I'm trying to think the name of the line. It's the short turn of the uh, Harvey's Lake Dallas line. Um, I can't... On Harvey's Lake? Well, just repeat that. They, they only went in the city area. Oh, okay. I can't, just can't think of the name of the line. There was one picture of a car out there, though. But uh, I understand a lot of them went up to the uh, the storage car barn just south of Dallas. Oh, yeah. Where they kept all their junk. Um, it was kind of the Ridge Avenue barn of, uh, you know, Wilkesboro. <laughs> Everything you know, that anybody got any uh, any highway department drawings of that of that Harvey's Lake line because they re redid that highway so much. No, the only thing I have is the Cox map. Ed, yeah. Sam, you're gonna see her tonight. Yeah, yeah. And the expressway leaving Wilkesboro is partly on that. Well, the, that road got changed, I think, three times or maybe more. Yeah. And I I keep on looking on that Facebook page that shows all those photos trying to figure out where everything is. It's an interesting line. Isn't some of the Harvey's Lake line, but the inner part of it, isn't it a hiking trail? Some of it is. I, I thought, thought it was the railroad that. line. I thought it was the rail line. Well, I don't know. The LVT was right next to Wilkesboro. All the way up to Dallas, it, they were all parallel. Yeah, railroad is a little straighter. Anything else? Uh, I just want to rethink uh, the Edmonton lines for having us here uh, this month. Shout out to them. Uh, does anybody else have anything else they want to bring up? <clears throat> No, no. Uh, next month is uh, where are we next month? Rich oh, Almonds. Rich Almonds, right? So, uh, if people are coming, please, uh, you know, you're you're welcome, but please send me a uh, an email or, or or message so I know about getting refreshments. I will buy enough refreshments for the number of people I hear from plus five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But don't count on being one of the five. Right, right. <laughs> Do yeah. Don't help? count on being number six. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want any help with the refreshments, like the drink uh, cans? No, I just want to know how much. But thanks anyhow, Jim. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, have uh, I know I sent it to you, Rich, and I can't remember whether I sent it to Charlie. Did you guys see the? Uh, the video of the light rail in, I think it was um, somewhere outside of Denver. Denver, where the guy yes. went around yes. the curve. Yeah. Oh, yeah, too fast and trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like yeah. one of our operators on our, our modules. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't a, a unique thing. It happened two times. Yeah, they said it happened in the past there. So right. I forget when it was. It was it recent that it happened or? Yeah, well, the picture one they had before was like in the summer. Yeah, but it, another one had been recent. Yeah. Yeah, was the, the previous one was in snow, and uh, 
I guess the operator said he didn't see the curve because it was snow on the track. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Like he's really qualified on the line, you know? But yeah. you, you, you're muted, Rich. And the curve wasn't there before it snowed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like it belongs on a farmer's insurance commercial. All right. I was thinking of Liberty. Uh, yeah. That almost sounds like the uh, Amtrak engineer near Frankfurt Junction. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, it did didn't roll over. Uh, I followed some conversations after, and they said. The fact that it derailed on the paved track, you know, prevented it from rolling over. Otherwise, uh, mm -hmm. there were three pe people hurt, including one guy who had a concussion. But if that had rolled over, uh, it would have been worse. Or if it was rush hour with standees, it would have been pretty bad. But uh, you saw the video, it was leaning. Like, like oh, it was. Leaning. <laughs> the thing is, if it was on private right of way, though, they would have gone down on the ballast, and that probably would have lost its footing, and it would have gone on its side. Mm -hmm. Well, see, we have to remember with the with the powered car, there's still a lot of weight is really in the trucks, mm -hmm. so they really are like a low center of gravity. Right. Right. Those are low floors, right? Those are low floor cars. No. They're not. They're not I wonder if they have issues like we have here, where people claim they they were injured uh, on on a uh, a transit accident when they weren't even on board. <laughs> I mean, getting on the back yeah. doors. Yeah. <laughs> Are they still doing that? Yeah. With the baby, the baby driver. We do with the baby driver. Well, I, th there was. Remember when there was that horrific. Derailment on the L uh, with the Almond Joy cars, oh, 25 yeah, plus years street. ago, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Motor going towards yeah. uh, 30th Street. Yeah. And some guy claimed uh, he, he was on that train because he was going eastbound from <laughs> from yeah. 30th Street to, to uh, 15th. He, he got nailed because it was a westbound train. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't even in that location. It was between 30th and 34th. Yeah, that's right. what he was doing. Yeah. No. Oh God, years ago, 20, 25 years ago, Rich Bible was there. He uh he was down shooting photos in Darby, he said, and a car came in and it derailed. I think the front end might have just tapped the pole. And he watched two people just walk up off the street and lay down <laughs> at the center doors. And he told me this. He's watching broad daylight. Uh they were tired. <laughs> They were customers for Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the cameras on the vehicles have basically stopped that nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> My father's story about how Angelo Bruno, the uh, uh, ethnic uh, mobster in Philadelphia, got his start in crime. He was standing on the corner of, Blank of Gerard and Belmont and uh, saw a 15 and a 42 or 43 trolley collide. And by the time the dust settled, he managed to climb on the front platform of one of the cars. <laughs> well, I wish I could find it somewhere in all of the stuff that I have. Um, was a complaint by PRT. Their accident rate was up. And in part, they blame this on, and they use the term ambulance chasers. Yes. Uh, with a group, there was a cadre of doctors in league with them. And they were, you know, PRT was trying to put a stop to this. Uh, there were a, a lot of fake accidents filed even a hundred and some years ago. <laughs> yeah, nothing new. But they used the term ambulance chasers. And yeah, you know, I used to think that that was something new, but apparently <laughs> no, it wasn't. I just cannot find out where I read that. Yeah. I remember I, that term when I was yeah. like, in grade school. Yeah. It was in, in the in inquire, which my parents yeah, yeah. Well, he got yeah. he met with <laughs>
right. Now, I have a couple uh, things that you might be interested in. Uh, there is a real good Almond Joy video on YouTube called Riding the Almond Joys, where you start out from Bridge Street and it's shot from the front window. And of course it goes all the way to 69th Street. Wow. And the sound is really good. It was shot in 1997, but it was an overcast day. So it looks like it's in black and white, but you see a few uh, splashes of color here and there. Nice. But it's, it's, it's a nice ride and the sound is just right. And uh, it's simply called Riding the Almond Joys. So if you put that in, this, uh, in your search, uh, it'll, it'll be the first thing on the list. Great. Yeah, Alan, do you get the change in smell when you're riding down into the tunnel? <laughs> I don't think they. I don't think they've invented sm smell vision yet. <laughs> I was I always used to ride the front, and I remember just how different it was. Yeah. Uh, oh yes, and many a summer and many a summer day. Uh, I, I, I'd have the front sash dropped and my head was halfway out the window. <laughs> and the water splashed in the face underneath the river. <laughs> yeah. 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 In the face. Yeah, I'm surprised none of the passengers told me to put that damn window up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, always, I always liked that 50 mile an hour breeze in my face. Yeah. 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 Those were the worst riding cars I was ever on. That was the best part of it. Yeah. <laughs> the the well, ride back and forth, and then you know, you know you, well, I understand <laughs> that uh that, that the city, when letting out its contracts, gave the truck contract to a company that only made freight car trucks. The I think well, it was called, called Adirondack. Mm. And uh, speaking of the L, uh, uh, with their skip stop service, uh, you've probably heard recently that they stopped that. And I don't know how much you'll be able to see. I'll, I'll put this up in, in front of me. Uh, this is the last uh, septum app to show skip stop, skip stop service on the L. Uh, and it even... It has the, even the latest commercial names for the stations. And you're like uh, Jefferson and NRG. But also, I also found this. This is the first uh, septum map uh, uh, right after they took over PRT. And you can see how they still use the old geometric shapes and colors that PTC used to use. And raise that uh, so we can see the bottom. Uh, I don't know how this is. Oh, that's I can, a let's see. Uh, okay, I can. Yeah. yeah. And let's see. I'll try to hold it up a little higher. Yeah. Uh, that's good. That's good. Doing this that's good. Yeah, doing this backwards. Let's see. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to... That's good right there. That's okay. great. Okay, now down in the corner, you can see where it has the meatball and the word SEPTA. That is the, the, the typeface that they use there is the original SEPTA before when they were just slapping the blue decals on the cars. So this is probably, you know, the first... Uh, set the map to uh, that they put out showing uh, the L and their skip stop service. So there's probably about 50 years between the two maps. Hmm. That's great, Alan. Yeah. Uh, thanks. The funny thing is, I saw them both on eBay and pra both practically at the same time. It didn't charge an arm and a leg, I hope. Well, I think that all de 
Depends on what, what you think that is. <laughs> <laughs> the shipping is what <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, you'll find a slide and nobody's bidding on it until the last 10 minutes and it goes for $400 or $300. <laughs> or... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. well that's, that's normal for eBay. That's, that's uh, sniping. And, uh, well, yeah, but what I want to know is one second. who are these the people last that have one that second much money? I had it. Yeah, it's but uh, lottery winners. But but usually, if a, if I see the the photography is so good now, particularly with smartphones, that if I see something like that, I'll just uh, I'll just uh, hit the print screen, uh, take it into a graphics program, and save it. <laughs> Yeah, why, why get the whole thing? You can do it, but a lot of these people are getting smart. And they're putting lots of words over the image. Yeah, they, they put a yeah, uh, they put the watermark. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I that too. But the, there have been a couple times, uh, you know, I'll work on the image editor and get rid of the more objectionable parts of it. Oh. Uh, Another thing I have in my garage that's of interest, every once in a while you hear about the uh, a, building the Broad Street subway up the boulevard. Well, yeah. one time, it, I, I, it may have even been, uh, yeah, I think it was even, East Penn was selling stuff at one of their meets and they got a hold of this roll sign box from uh, after David Gunn came here and gave assigned colors to the lines. They were going to put new roll signs uh, on the old Broad Street subway cars. And they were so sure that the, they were going to, this extension was going to get built that on one, at, one of the destinations they put was Ron Street. Yeah. Ron Street. Also Ron Walnut and Ron Snyder Express. Uh, yeah. yeah. That is so. Well, those last two on green backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, I have both some of those curtains, but no boxes. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, the, the, this came in a box with both curtains. In fact, when they uh, had it ready for me, they, they mm -hmm. turned both curtains to Ron Street just to show that they were there. So you, you keep, every once in a while, you keep hearing things about the, uh, a Broad Street extension up, up the boulevard, but like many other things, it won't happen. It's a zombie it that refuses money. to die. Hmm. Speaking of extensions, uh, uh, I was flicking around uh, on, uh, I had that passport on WHYY, and I was I was looking up some programs, and one popped up. Uh, there's a, a video on. I I it was late last night, so I didn't go to it. But uh, there's a video on. There's a new subway line being built in London, and it's apparently crossing the crossing the whole city, uh, quite a few miles. Brand new rolling stock and everything else like that. And uh, you might find that interesting. It's under construction, uh, but uh, that's I mean, while, while just above them, the city is still doing what it's doing. So they're doing this underground and uh, with, I guess, minimal disruption of the city's activities on the surface. Well, I think it's maybe very deep. But yeah, I think it is more, deep. isn't it more analogous to our center city tunnel that's really connecting more like suburban rail lines rather than a rapid transit line? I, I have no idea. I, I, think, I didn't if it's, watch if the it's the Elizabeth line, yeah, I think it's more, more like an S bond kind of thing. Yeah. Did she open uh, it? Mm -hmm. it, it, it looks like the the cars, uh, a lot of the, the London, the tube cars, because of the way they designed that tube, the cars are kind of just yeah. whipped off on the corners. And uh, the, the, the design-wise, they don't look that great. Uh, these new ones are really beautiful. 
Pero... Well, the stations have screen doors too. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I think we're going to sign off on this end. Okay. Okay. Right. And we'll see you uh, next month at Almond's, whoever's coming. It, you, it, it often snows when the meeting's here, so be yeah, prepared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It didn't happen when we had the meeting in June, but. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys. All right. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Right now. Have a good meeting. Yeah.